Here's balls hanging low. You're on the Ron and Fez show. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I would say a movie that the more times you watch it over and over, the funnier it gets. Would be Office Space. Office Space works for everybody. The yeah. weird thing is, as yeah. the it doesn't go to any kind of crescendo towards the end. It kind of peters out. Where you're okay, just quitting on that film anywhere. Office Space, I watched it once, saw a little bit too much of myself in it, never watched it again. Oh, what was that, the... The stapler incident. I had no idea. I had never seen Office Space. And when I'm in my actual, when I'm in the actual office, I want my stapler and everything else to stay on my desk. I don't like people walking off of my pen. Anything. When we used to work at NEW, almost every night, Fez and I would come in, and you know, in our office, there were only a couple of desks. So. When Fez and I weren't using them, the interns or producers used the desk, whatever. Now, me, I'm not big on personal space. doesn't matter to me where I am. Fez always likes a little personal space, likes things set up, and he always felt like his stapler was missing. So he would come in there, and he would get really mad before the show, and he would go like this. Have you seen my stapler? Have you seen my stapler? And he would be questioning all the guys. And everybody would be snickering because you even kind of look like that guy from Office Space. Steven Root. So, uh, you know, everybody would laugh and it would happen three, four times a week. So finally I was like, Fez, have you seen Office Space? That's why people are laughing. Because, you know, the funny thing about Fez for being a funny guy, you don't like when people laugh at you. No, I don't care for it. Yeah. It's hurtful. And yet... It seems like you set that out. That's your life's work. Yeah, it's a little bit of a conflict there, I guess. Right. Something i got to get reconciled. Yeah, like you're on the radio, but you don't like when people listen to you. It's a very odd thing. So when he finally went back and watched this uh, film, uh, you couldn't handle it. No, I watch it, and I all of a sudden I see this guy demanding his stapler, yeah. this idiot character, and I just sat there horrified watching this thing, and couldn't believe that I had gone out and purchased the DVD to watch it. Right. I didn't catch it on cable. I purposely set out to watch this thing. You know, uh, somebody went and made that actual stapler, because they never made staplers in that color that they have in that movie, and it got so popular that everybody wanted to buy that stapler for the annoying guy at work who wants to know where his stapler is. The I guess every workplace has a Fez or a Fez Watley, so they wanted to go out and get this. Yeah, it was. I sat there horrified because it's like, oh my gosh, the entire world has been in on a joke that I had no idea was going on. There is a film that I've tried to watch Three times, and I can't, because it reminds me of you too much, and I turn it off. What's that? I don't want to say. Oh. But three times, and people go, you will love this movie, and I can't watch it. Really? Mm-hmm. So what about Bob? No. Hmm. I don't know what it could be. You want me to just say? Uh, if you want to. I don't want to. I wanted <laughs> to keep it a, a secret. Then I, don't. I'm going to just say it then. Then don't. No, don't say it? No, not if it... No, don't. Oh, I would love to know. I gotta know. I can't say it. No, uh, if Fez doesn't want me to say, I'm not going to say. Uh, Rich, Rich, you're on Fez. Yeah, Cable Guy. I mean, one of the best movies I've ever seen. A lot of people don't like it, but I, I can't stop watching it. I'll watch it every night. For some reason, they all attacked Jim Carrey when this film came out. Yeah, because apparently it was like too dark of a comedy or too dark of a character. Now, I don't understand that at all. Now, in hindsight, it seems yeah. like it's lovable and fun. I remember seeing a, like a preview screening of it, packed theater here in uh, in Manhattan. You could hear a pin drop at the end of this movie. Everyone's like, "Oh, this is, wasn't you know wasn't like the mask or anything." And I'm cracked. There was lines I was cracking. I up know. At. I thought it was a scream. You know when he's playing basketball and uh, with the really bad elbow pads and he's just doing all this stuff. I mean, and I'm cracking up and all these little pop culture references. I I'm guess dying. it's just time to turn on the guy. That's all. Have you seen the previews of this film? Twenty three. Some kind of. Scary movie that he's done? Yeah, I saw it before the uh, when I saw Children of Men. And again, you could hear a pin drop at the end of the preview. <laughs> uh, hey, Smoke, what do you got for us, buddy? Now, I got nothing against you personally, but you were wanted by authorities, and you're a bad influence in this household, in my opinion. I'm going into town to see about getting some shots for the baby. When I can get back, you better be gone. I'll kick you out myself. We got some family now. Raising Arizona, another Cohen Brothers movie. Fucking panic. That film doesn't have a single 
setup line, a single straight line in the entire film. It is a film where every single line is hysterical. And yet, not a big hit with the fucking Hayseeds, even though that's, I think, where I probably got the term Hayseeds. It may be my favorite Holly Hunter movie. I don't know what to say back to that, Fez. I just want to give you love. I just want to send you love back. Maybe later we'll have the big A list where he does his his best to worst Holly Hunter movies. Uh, let me go over here to, um, let's go to Mike. Mike, you're on Fez. Hey, buddy, hey, before I give you my movie, I just want to give a shout-out to a friend of mine. in Big A! A Big A! Doesn't need a shout-out. Big Adventure. Dewey's Big Adventure, The Life of Fez. Later, boys. Peace out. Let's take a break. Run a Fez show. Ron Bennington, Fez Watley, The Ron and Fez Show. XM202. Wiki's here. Yeah, I know Wiki's here, but the show's still going on. Why is everyone out talking to Wiki? We can talk to Wiki after the show. <laughs> we can talk. There'll be plenty of time to talk to him then. Hi, Wiki. Hi. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> he's taking us out for a big dinner tonight, Fuzzy. Oh, nice. <laughs> but he's limiting us to the left side of the menu. <laughs> the left corner. That's not the Wiki I know. Yeah, we haven't eaten in a long time together, so let's... Uh, yeah, we went back... It was all the way to Craft uh, was the last time yes. we went out, Fez. Oh, man, that seems like forever ago. That's too long to yeah. go without you taking us to eat, Wiki. It is the best times. We have had the best times hanging out with your uh, credit card. And... Uh, <laughs> No, is Elo coming with us today? Yes, he's don't in town. Don't let him run on and he's on. He's in town, okay? town. Don't let him run on and on. Uh, he Let's, just you know, I can't tell you how much the business bores me. So I'll give him a minute to say stuff about the business, and then we'll get into talking about sides. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the Inno is a wonderful product, and it's. Uh, I know it's the forefront of XM satellite technology. The yeah, future's yeah. bright. What are we going to eat? Yeah. <laughs> But could we please keep the chatter down so the lady can take our orders? <laughs> you don't come to New York as much as you used to. No. You're all DC bound. Yeah, yeah. I miss uh, seeing you guys. So uh, you know, I'm up here for what? Two hours? Two hours? Yeah. Is that how long you stand? That's all you got me for. So back on the train? Yep, tonight. Back home to the little woman. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the life. Big bad Bill, sweet William now. No, only you're the only one left, Fez. Oh. You're the only single out of the old gang. And, I, and I'm a little nervous because, you know, Valentine's Day's coming up in about a month. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid my chick, Don Kumia, Anthony's sister. <laughs> right. I'm just scared to death she's going to be expecting a ring. Yeah. Well, maybe she'll get it from her real boyfriend. Who? Fat Opie? Patrick? The guy who looks like Opie, only much, much heavier? Yeah. No, they're just best friends. They're they're like girlfriends. You know why? What? Ronnie, Patrick is gay. Oh. I thought it was obvious to everybody. No, I didn't know. No, they're just like really good girlfriends. Tom, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, I just wanted to know. Uh, I know exactly how that guy's kids feel because before you returned the cell phone, I was worried. I didn't know how it was going to go. I was, right. I was almost in tears. Well, that's what happens with hero stuff. And, you know, we don't want to make our loved ones... Uh, feel fear, but we just keep going. Like whether you're diving under a, a, a train or returning a cell phone. I didn't know who was going to come. Could have been the Russian mafia, but I stayed with it. I handed the cell phone over like a hero. I didn't realize returning the cell phone was such a dangerous situation. Oh, yeah, it is. Ryan, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, Ron, I know exactly what movie you were referring to when you talked about you couldn't get through it. What's that? Um, and it was about Fez. Is it Crumb? No, no, but oh. now that one does make me nervous as well. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I will send someone into the um, big-ass prize closet for this. Here's what it is, Wiki. It's a film that came out. I try to watch it on cable. I cannot because it reminds me too much of Fez. Crump, nice job, but uh, not the film I'm looking for. Uh, oh, it's uh, Bam. How you doing, Bam? Hey, how are you doing? Good, pal. It's been an interesting week on SBA this week. We've been crashed the entire week. Now, we heard you disappeared for good. That was it. Yeah, the server uh, basically blew up and lost all the data and all the backups that we had on there. Um, so currently we're in the process of uh, 
of getting everything back up. Hopefully, we'll have the forums up by tonight. Um, it's going to, you know, we lost a lot of the data, so we're kind of set back a couple months on everything we had. But uh, we'll be back up and running tonight or tomorrow. Now, um, is Dave out? No, nah, Dave's still there. Damn, I was hoping he would be out. Just put him back in. So yeah. that's the website, fullblownaids.com. Usually if you hear AIDS is down, full-blown AIDS is down, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. apparently not in this case. We don't think about it as much as they do, I guess, in your community, Fez. My community? Mm -hmm. Roosevelt Island? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks, Pam. Thanks. Have a good day. See you, pal. Um, look who it is. It's Stink Bomb. Stink Bomb, what do you got for us, buddy? It's the movie you can't get through, Brokeback Mountain, because wasn't that the one that Wiki wanted to take you to? And, oh. uh, <laughs> no, that's not it. There is a film out there. Cannot get through it. Reminds me too much of you, Fuzzy, and I tell you the truth, makes me feel a little bad. Really? Mm hmm Yeah. Well, that wouldn't be Brokeback Mountain. I mean, I've never been ranching. Mm. That would be insane. Yeah, I forgot. I, we used to do that gimmick that... Wiki wants to take me to Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> he's insisting. What is it about? And he's wearing a little cowboy hat to do it. Earl coming out with us tonight? Yes, he is. And Dave. All right. yeah. Dave, too? Dave, too. Dave is accepted, finally, after all this time. All right. Yeah. Part of the gang. Now, the it was just about this time last year, Wiki. How many conversations did you and I have about Dave? Whether or not Dave was the guy... Whether Dave would be in it for the long haul. I actually was all for Dave. You were. Uh, from I, the very beginning. I and, like Dave. And I struggled through it. I'm going, I like him, but he's so crazy that he may end up being useless. And Wiki used to call me at my house and talk for like <laughs> an hour. And I'd just be going, I don't know. I'm not sure. Do you still feel the same way, Wiki? Yes, I actually. I, you I haven't like changed you. your mind? No, not yet. There are a certain, uh, there is a certain percentage of people who tell me they like the show more with Dave. Now, m the most people go, Dave ruins the show. I turn it off as soon as I hear him. But there is a percentage <laughs> that I will actually go this far. They prefer Dave mo most over everything else on the show. Really? Yeah, I hear that from people. So it's they'll, there. It does exist. They'll say more Dave. Well, me and Mr. Wickland always had a wonderful uh, relationship. Do you wish that uh, that you never started here with us, though? No. Just what? No, just the opposite. I'm very happy about that. Will you be talking at this dinner, or are you and Earl going to play the... Uh, oh, just I'll be look I'll be eating my ice. Really quiet, and, you know... <laughs> I'll be looking down. Trying to see when Elo and Wiki have a joke and then giggle at it. Like chewing, um, <laughs> chewing the same piece of steak that should have been swallowed for right. minutes to go to avoid communication. Steak, you're really uh, yeah. getting a little crazy here. Yeah. Uh, let me go to uh, Zod. Zod, you're on the Run Fez show. Hey, I think I know the film. What's that? 40-Year-Old Virgin. That's the winning cowbell? Have you seen the film, Fez? I have not seen it. Three times I've tried to watch it. Three times I've turned it off. It's too close. I may have to check this out to see what the similarities could be. It's almost like they have they've following you around with a camera. Really? Yeah. It's freakish. They've got your apartment down, the whole thing, <laughs> your lifestyle. It's scary. That's damn bizarre. Yeah, it is. That's very weird. You probably have a lawsuit. You could have <laughs> you could have written and acted and started this movie in a heartbeat. It might be worth checking it out then if we can sue. Have you seen it, Earl? No, I have not seen this film. I'm scared to watch this movie. Because of? Well, because, mainly because of Fez, and it kind of mirrors me a little bit, too. Oh, so. yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh, so okay. it was freaking me out a you little bit, You kind of live the same lifestyle. Yeah, Everything except that, uh, you know, the, the cheesy bicycle helmet and the bike. Oh, outside of that, I'm like, oh, my God. No, that's this, me. That uh, is so yeah, weird. that is. All right, but at what point, what age now do you think a guy has to be grown up by? That you have to start acting like an adult? I would say probably 45. You... Fez, you're ready to die almost at that age. Okay. Dave is still living like a kid at age 29. The difference is Dave does have sex. I give him credit for that. But other than that, he still he makes a Christmas list for his mom. He plays touch football with his family, wiffle ball. He does live, live like an oversized kid. And the constant Star Wars talk 
Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's all a little embarrassing. See, I think he's a lot more babyish than me, a lot more immature. <sighs> Boy, I don't know. I mean, what age do you feel like you stopped at, Earl? Because I'll at least give you 20. I'll feel like you've made it to a certain age. I, I mean, I started to feel like a, a real adult around 21. When I turned 21, I was But, like, I mean, what age do you feel like your growth stopped? Because you still are into... Your thing is at least it's The Rock, you know, the obsession with Rock. Where Fez is his cartoons. I was going to say... Uh, about 30, 33 Oh, I don't think so. We There's no stop. way your maturity age is 33. No way in the fucking world. I'm going to say it's 22, 23. Maybe just got out of college is the way you live. <laughs> you still eat uh, standing over a sink. And it's the sink here. No, I, 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 like Wait, I don't know things. if you know this, but this guy does not go home. Oh, I know. It's frightening. Every time I talk to him, where are you? At work. Yeah. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. Every time I talk to Earl... He's here. Yeah. He calls me a lot uh, from here. Were you here last night when you checked in with me? Yes, I was. <clears throat> we were watching the Annie Leibovitz special together, and I'm like, and it occurs to me, he's not home. He's not going home. He likes the caller ID to show up that it's XM Satellite Radio when he calls somebody. Honestly, I got co completely caught up in it. I came back here to drop some stuff off, and, it was, and I just put it on. I was like, I'll watch five minutes. I ended up watching the whole thing. That was a great one, man. That American Masters is unbelievable TV. Uh, Ray, Ray, you're on Running Fez. Hey, is the name of the movie I Am Sam? You know what? That, that one kind of reminds me of Fez, too. I am not a retard trying to raise a daughter by myself. Uh, Bob, you're on Running Fez. Hey, buddies. Yeah. I'm just calling because I thought I could have sworn the movie would have been The Birdcage, reminding you too much of you and Fez. That actually is uh, reminds me a little bit of Fez, too. The Birdcage? Yeah. I don't see any of this. I'm not a nightclub performer. Mm. I don't have a nightclub in Miami Beach. Yeah, that would be a maturity level. But for some reason, have guys stopped growing up, Wiki? Have you noticed this? Even in your friend people, they stay children. I don't think anybody's ever grown. I, I will never grow up. Yeah. I will always be a kid. So Earl thinking that, what, 33? No said? way is he act 33. No. No, but I mean, I just think, I, mean, I don't play video games anymore. I Earl, what happened to Winnie? She was on and then gone. Um, What's I, happening I, I, over there today? She did, she uh, wanted to guess, 40-year-old virgin, and then she said, oh, they guessed it already. I don't want to talk to them then. Oh, is that right? That's it what she said. Like I don't want to oh. talk to him. Quote. The winning attitude. How did she say it exactly? Like, she goes, I said, she said, what was the name of the movie? I said, uh, it was Four-Year-Old Virgin. She said, oh, I was going to say that. Oh, well, I don't want to talk to him anyway. Wow. Wow. Well, what did we ever do to Winnie Cooper? It's nothing. Dave, you're on running, uh, I mean, Caveman, you're on running Fez. What's happening, fellas? Hey, buddy. I, I am a huge Eastside Dave fan. Who can't like a drunken, red-headed retard who fucks dogs? You know what? That is true. You have brought something to the show that we didn't have, that we lacked, and that was the ability to appall. You can be appalling. Some of the things that you've done are just absolutely disgusting. Well, I don't see it that way. I just have different hobbies than other people. Everyone has their own little games that they like to play. Mind feature animals. <laughs> Sometimes. Is that what you saw in him, Wiki? Animals? He's a dog yeah. humper. Dave, you're going to have to jump on that uh, phone. He can't keep up. you got to tap out. I love the guy, but, you know, the thing has to be done as we're doing the show here today. And I would have milked that other bit for a long time, <laughs> Fezzy, before I went to second caller. I just wasn't getting any names up. Hi, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. Hey, you doing, Ronnie? What do you say, hey. Uh... How about Mrs. Doubtfire? Mrs. Doubtfire does remind me of you, Fez, because you dress up like your mom a lot. And you run around the house. Well, that may be because I'm a clean nut, and I do a lot of vacuuming and stuff like that. You you honestly see yourself as being clean? Yeah. I see myself as being a clean person. I don't know. When you smell like somebody else's cum, I don't think of it as being clean. I find it a little... I want to tell you the truth. A little disgusting. My home is clean. It's like potato flakes all over the back of your pants. I don't even know how that happens. Earl, where are you going? Come back to me. I need you on this show. He gets very queasy. I know he does. All right, Winnie has called us back. Hey, Winnie. 
What a big, fat, red-headed liar. That's true. Why yeah. you hate us? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. You I just called have... to say I hate Ron and Fez and hang up? <laughs> I had nothing to say. I wanted to answer your question. It had been answered, so I quietly went on my way. Have you seen the film, honey? I did. It, it is kind of... When, once you said Fez, I went back and saw it, and uh, it made me really sad. Yes, that's how I felt when I watched it, too. Rather than like, hey, that's like Fez and laughing, I'm like, that's like Fez, and I get sad, and then I get guilty. Then I picture him in a little apartment with all the comic book stuff on the shelves. And you know what? Here's another thing, too, Fez, about you. And, Wiki, how many... Every time you and I have a conversation, it's, how's Fez? What can we do for Fez? How can we make things easier for Fez? At no time do you and I ever think about ourselves. But it's like having a giant baby. You know, like when you have an infant in the house, you're talking about it constantly? That's where you've got yourself right now, Fez. Well, it's nice to be thought of. I can't argue with that part of I it. I think that's why all the girls listening to the show always say, oh, I love Fez. Yeah, they do. That, they that, all want to turn you. Yeah, they want to take care of him. Well, Fix him. They want to breastfeed him. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> You could do very well with women. You think so? I know so. Will you want to make 07 the year of Fez dating? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm yeah. so set in my ways. Wendy, you know who we saw yesterday that would be your friend Shawnee would be perfect for Fez? You think? Yeah. I don't know, man. She, see, I don't know if he can catch up with her. All right, so you, we need somebody a little... You need someone who's set in slow. her ways as well. Yeah, someone like that is female slow. female Fez. To go with him. Oh, is this all leading to Stalker Patty? <laughs> Does she like comic books? I'm not sure. Stalker Patty goes out too much for you. She <laughs> almost is too active. So you guys her. could shave your heads together. That would yeah. be sweet. You uh, you work. might be with someone a little more retarded. <laughs> more retarded than Stalker Patty. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what yeah. about um? I don't think Terry Schiavo is still available. <laughs> What about Lady Di? Homeless, got that in common. That's true, Fez. As long as you're going with ONA people. Alcoholic. <laughs> I don't want to go with a homeless, retarded Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> what about Slow Mo? <laughs> slow Mo? We have nothing in common other than we run a bus together to a mall in New Jersey for the homeless shopping spree. I saw him hug you on the street not too long ago when he saw you. I helped him pick out sneakers. Mm, Sounds okay. like a date to me. All right, Winnie. Thanks, honey. All right, love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, here's uh, Mike. Mike, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, I got another uh, Aunt Fezzy movie. Yeah. Uh, Stuart Saves His Family. Stuart Saves His Family is a lot like you, Fez. Oh, yeah. That one, even I noticed that. This is weird. That was on TV this morning when I woke up. Really? I haven't seen that forever. Now, remember when he had the book out at the same time he did a Stuart book? There was some kind of uh, CD that went along with it, I, and I had it on a tape. I gave it to a friend of ours... To listen to, because, you know, I thought they thought it was funny. He calls me up, he goes, he goes, he is fucking genius. He goes, where does Fez find the time to do this? He thought the Stuart Smalley thing was you doing a gimmick like just going into the production studio and doing a bit. And doing a self-help book myself. Right. That's all right. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's kind of good. I guess so. But yeah, that is my family. Dan, Dan, you're on Fez. Hey, is the film Psycho? Fez is kind of like Norman Bates with his mother. You do have, a, like, a mother fixation, Fez. A little bit, yeah. But my mother is alive. She's not hidden in the attic or anything, and I'm not putting on her clothes. But you think about her constantly. I think about her, yeah. Yeah. I think about, you know, times we've had some run-ins throughout my childhood. But, you know, uh, he'll be like, and I guarantee it'll come out like if we go out tonight, we go out to dinner with Wiki and Elo. He'll be like, well, Mom's missing a meal. Like, he'll bring it up like it's negative, you know, and he'll be like, yeah, she wouldn't have any idea. And then sometimes you look over, he's on his cell phone. Yes, Mother. Yes, Mother. I'm like, who calls their mom? What 40-year-old virgin is calling their mom? Every now and then i got to check in with the old lady. Why? She needs it. It's more for her than for me. Do you ever uh, put the wig on and pretend you're her? No, I don't do that. Fez? No. Not often. Isaac, you're running Fez. Hey, what's up, Ronnie? I think uh, the movie Fez reminds me of yeah. is uh, Philadelphia. Ouch. All right, that's just cruel. That is just mean. That's just wishing bad things on me. And yet... 
Mm. I don't wish bad things on me. Oh, Brad, you're running Fez. You know, I was thinking it was going to be Little Orphan Annie. Yeah. <sighs> My dad's not rich. My adopted dad. Terry, you're on the Running Fez show. Go ahead, Terry. Hey, what's up, Ronnie? We what said, buddy. Hey, I was wondering, uh, is Wiki going to have balls enough to uh, let Fezzy figure the tip tonight? No, do not do that, Wiki. Fezzy doesn't know how to figure the tips, and he gives way too big a tips. No, what's funny is that every time we go out to dinner with Eric, Eric mm -hmm. goes, just take care of the tap, just take care of it. Right. He never pays. Eric never pays. Always leaves it out there? Always leaves it out there for somebody else to pay. So I'll take care of the tip. I'll do it all. I'll take care of it. You know what? Tonight's on me. You guys don't have to do anything. Order whatever you want. I appreciate any meal that uh, where I get out of doing the math. See? At the end. You know what? Uh, I want you to do, Fezzy, a switch in the sweatpants before you go to eat, though. So <laughs> I want you to damage these guys. I want you to put on the eating sweats. Oh, that'd be nice. My food pants. My out-to-dinner pants. <laughs> Uh, Pete, you're running Fez. Yeah, I'm wondering if that movie you're thinking of is Bill. William, Bill for short. A lot of people say retarded movies for you, Fez. Yeah, and I don't agree with it. I think it's people that are calling in here. They've somehow gotten this phone number <laughs> and are uh, just trying to hurt me. You think so? Yeah. I think they're purposely trying to hurt me. Mark, you're running Fez. Uh, what's up, guys? One, two, seven, two, five. What do you say, my brother? hoo -ah! Um, I think the, the movie that reminds me of Fez would be uh, Gacy. John the, Wayne Gacy. Story. The sound, cl the sad clown that kills kids <laughs> under his house. I would. I invite anyone to check my crawl spaces. I would. I wouldn't dream of it. What could be found under there? There is not one boy's body in there. You know, you must do something really dark to let off steam, because you do not let off steam that we know of. And when people go to me. Uh, what is Fez like this, blah, blah, blah. I really think to myself, after all these years, still a mystery. Still a mystery. Really? Mm hmm I think you know me as good as anyone. Yeah, Basically, but... Basically, what you see is what you get. There's not much more there. That's not enough, though. Everybody has something that they do. Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, I just don't do a whole lot. I like to go to my home. And just kind of be there. So there's no... What's the word I'm looking for? Lustful urges? Oh, I'm sure there's... Yeah, there's urges. Sure. But I don't know... You just say sure. <laughs> Let them, well, that's the mystery. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I'd do anything unusual to blow off steam. Hmm. I don't think that's any... It's not that you do anything unusual to blow off steam. You don't do anything usual to blow oh. off steam. Oh, okay. That's where I'm going with this. Not that you have an odd habit. Uh, here's Chuck. Chuck, you're on running fest. Go ahead, Chuck. Hey, I think the movie Pat kind of reminds me of Fez. It's Pat, the Julia Sweeney movie from Saturday Night Live? What is it? It's Pat. Here comes Pat. No, I'm not Pat. I'm you, a boy. You got that build. You do have that build. I'm a little too round in some areas. Hey, uh, Jack. Jack, you're on Runner Fest. How are you, buddy? Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh, Torch Zone Trilogy, Harvey Feierstein, because Fez reminds me exactly <laughs> like him. Now, Jack, I've never heard from another man who's seen that film. Oh, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I thought Harvey Firestein was great in it. Who? Harvey Firestein. <laughs> I Firestein. I heard Harvey Firestein. <laughs> Is that so wrong? That was a good impression. <laughs> now you finally nailed one. When's there going to be a Tony for ensemble? It's a crime that there's not a Tony for ensemble. Sully, you're on Rana Fez. Uh, wasn't Divine's character in Pink Flamingos based on Fez? <laughs> <laughs> on Fez, I mean... No, it was not based on me, Sully. Wow, it really reminded me of it. Why do you use people's names like a weapon against them? <laughs> because when you got a name like Sully, <laughs> it just it begs to be spoken back at them. You heard me, Sully. I you know it, exactly what I'm talking about. I think it puts them in their place. They have to contemplate their own stupid names afterwards. <laughs> Big uh, football this weekend. Fez, are you still doing your Monday football show? 
Yeah, I haven't done it in the past couple of weeks on uh, with T.J. Reeves. Now, let me check with Wiki. What's the feedback there? Fez does it every Monday. He still worries that uh, people like him or not. Have you heard any feedback at all? I heard it's nothing but great radio for 10 minutes. Is that all you're doing now? Is 10, 10 minutes? minutes? I'm supposed to get 10. It's usually down to it's uh, down to 8 or 6. Well, you That's gotta trim, all? Trim oh. the fat. you got to trim the fat. I've got an idea. It's the TJ and Fez show. I don't like that idea. Doesn't he do the show out of Tampa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. That's your hometown, right? Right. Tampa, St. Pete. Yeah. Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete. <laughs> exactly. Because there's no one town big enough. <laughs> you got to throw everything in there together. And eventually someone will have heard of one. Yeah. And does he doing the show out of his house? Uh, I know he used to. Yes, he still does. Yes. See, that's yep. that would be a problem for me. If I did the show out of my house, I'm sure I'd never get out of a robe. You think? Yeah, I would just all but give up. Well, it would start, you know, like maybe in your garage or something like that. Right. And then eventually the microphone would be next to the couch in the living room. <laughs> While you're laying on the couch <laughs> watching TV. I don't know, folks. Give me a call. One, you know, you would right. just give up on trying. And then eventually it's a boom <laughs> mic held over your bed. And people, like, they're listening to the show and they hear you cooking bacon. <laughs> You're just wearing a wireless. There would be no way not to eat on yeah. the air if you were broadcasting from home. There's just too much food there. We got to get TJ on this show. I want to get some feedback from him of how the season's going. And I want you to keep it going through basketball and baseball, Fez. I don't know anything about that. I'm just supposed to do it through football season, through the Super Bowl. Fez and uh, Earl and I are going to feed you some lines. Even Dave watches basketball. You'll feed me incorrect lines, and I'll look the ass. <laughs> Why are you a one sport Johnny? Why are you done? You say, because you seem like a sports fan. But it's only the one sport. Yeah, it's almost like I pay so much attention to football right. and co yeah, NFL and college that it's like by the end of it, I'm kind of burnt out and I can't get into another sport. But you're not a sports fan. You're just a football fan. Yeah, exactly. It's odd, though, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't consider myself a sports fan. Do you, have you ever been to any other sporting events? I've been to some baseball games. Never basketball? No. Never hockey? No. no. Boxing? I went to a one boxing yeah. Yeah. In Vegas. But, you know, that to me, that was Vegas. That wasn't so much sports. Hmm. Very odd. Well, this, I want you to get into it, the TJ and Fez show. Ask TJ if he's willing to share the title. Even if it's TJ with Fez. Get your name yeah. on the marquee. I don't think it's a good idea, because to me, Monday mornings are very uncomfortable. What is that? 7.45 on XM Sports Nation. Why? Because it's not real conversational. I kind of throw some things out, mm -hmm. and then TJ just says, what other material do you have? <laughs> and it gets really uncomfortable. So are you saying like you have the feeling he doesn't even want you? Yeah, I had the feeling like he was forced into Fez Watley at 7.45 on a Monday. Do you see that any difference in my career? Do you see that any difference at all? I see a big difference there. Do you not think that I don't lay in bed and going, is there anyone else? <laughs> well, I would hope not. I would hope you just go to sleep. Wiki, have you ever listened to this at all before? Oh, yeah, all the time. Is, is it uncomfortable? No, you know what? Did I, I describe it accurately? Yes, I think you're exactly right. It, he just chimes in a couple things, and then basically he TJ takes over, starts talking, uh -huh. and then it's like, where did Fez go? And then <laughs> Fez will throw out something else. TJ will run with it, and then it's like, well, all right, six, seven minutes are up. <laughs> I don't even get that much TJ running with it time. So the problem with Fez is not so much he doesn't have good lines, it's the interaction. Right. I think it's a little rough. I think it's yeah. rough. Yeah. Yeah, it's rough. Rougher than this show, the the Ron and Fez chemistry, because that's awkward. Oh, it's rough. Yeah, it's it's rougher. I mean, there's gaps in this show that you could drop a 747 <laughs> in. There's just big places, just big air pockets. And on the TJ show, you can hear me counting down the seconds till the uh, end music, because I'm always the last segment on his oh, Monday no, show. Oh, I had no idea that you were that. Yeah, I wrap up <laughs> the Monday show on Sports Nation. Wow, that's awkward. Was it 146? Take your pick. What do you think it is? I think it's 146. XM Sports Nation. Mm. 45. And moved again. Yeah. Well, I like to stay a moving target, <laughs> moving back and forth. Making things happen. So you could be doing better on the show. Well, I don't think I can do any better. I'm bringing everything I got to the table. But it is a matter of chemistry. Yes, totally. I mean, like, TJ can do a show. You can do a show. But somehow together, you guys haven't mixed. Like, 
Like, the only reason why you're talking is because that's your job, to talk. Right. Yeah. And when I stop talking, then he goes, talk about something else. <laughs> Is basically what he's saying. All right, now it sounds like a marriage. Now it sounds like it may be a nice long marriage. And plus, you tend to blow things out of proportion. They never go as bad or as good as you think they are. Oh, in a million years, this is as bad as I yeah. as I say. I'm not blowing it out of proportion. By the way, I want to take this time to uh, thank Wiki. Got me this uh, cigar in red uh, wax. Unbelievable, thoughtful Christmas gift. Uh, Fez, your Christmas gift. Earl, are you going to put it online? Is that what you did with it? Yeah, we're going to take a picture of it. and. Uh... Do me a favor. Just put it up to the window so Wiki can see the... This is a fucking man's Christmas gift. I wish you were showing it off Just in a good it way. There. Just, there it is. Ceramic ashtray. <laughs> but it's from Toot Shores Restaurant. Toots? Yeah. What the hell is this? It is an ashtray of a club that I've never been to. A ceramic white ashtray. It was a New York mainstay for years. One of the most famous bars in the city. And yet, if you go on Whack Bag, you will see the actual uh, a ashtray from Toot Shores Restaurant because it looked old. It didn't look like it was made... Last year, like that one. Would you say that that ashtray is 60 years old? It looks it. Do you think so? Yeah, absolutely. Because to me, it's just way too white. It's not worn down. It definitely hasn't been used. The one on Whackbag got me really concerned on Whackbag.com. Because it looks like something from the past. Yeah, it's, you know, an odd shape thing. It looks worn out. And it's a completely different looking ashtray than the one I got you. Uh, Jim, you're running Fez. Hey, maybe Fez could do a Tuesday morning Raw Roundup with uh, TJ. Would you like to do that, uh, Fez? No, I don't want to do any extra work with TJ. <laughs> I think I do enough for the sports nation. But, I mean, if you don't want to keep on doing Mondays. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think two, moving into Tuesday and talking wrestling is going to help. Because I'll say something about Kane, and then it'll be, what other wrestlers are you going to talk about? That's now not going to change the situation. You're making it seem like a TJ's fault. Well, when yeah, obviously a little bit. He's able to interact with everybody else on his show. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know where that uncomfortability comes from. I know what the problem is. I deal with it daily. Maybe <laughs> TJ now knows just how brilliant I am of keeping this thing afloat. Uh, here's uh, here's Joe. Joe, you're running Fez. Yo, buddy. Yeah. Every time, uh, every time I see this one movie, it's funny. I think of both of you because there's a hero and there's an old dying man. It's Tuesdays with Maury. Oh yeah, Tuesdays with Maury. That could be us. Yeah, I don't uh, want to think of us as Tuesdays with Fezzy. Fez, uh, one of your best friends wants to say hello to you from Florida. It's Kerouac. How you doing, Kerouac? Hey, buddies. How you guys doing? What do you say, man? Uh, not much, man. I just, uh, I know I lost touch with you guys for a long time, so. Uh... I, I actually I didn't really even know what you guys were up to and I heard you were you were on, you've been on the radio for quite a while and uh, we we heard this that you're going to start and send us some parody songs that Fez always loved. I would absolutely love to do that, guys. If you'd uh, still be interested, I I, uh... I don't remember you doing anything when you were an intern. <laughs> Why now? You know what I had the idea of is maybe uh, Fezzy, you and him, I'll write them together. We do something where you guys are working on them together. I'm not collaborating with the intern from years ago. Yeah. The intern from uh, Florida. Well, if you if you guys are interested, uh, uh, I'd, I'd love to write some more stuff for you. And, well, we'd uh, love to hear it. More? Yeah. <laughs> How about any? I, I wrote some. I, I, I wrote a few and played them on the air. He for did you some guys. kind of gasoline or Listerine song. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? Now I to do. The fuel, <laughs> to the fuel gimmick. I, I don't think the Listerine idea was mine. I think that one was taken a while ago. But uh, Oh, yeah, it was Fuzzy's. I, I did one from uh, a whole bunch of groups that probably nobody's heard of now, uh, like Mighty Joe Plum and uh, a couple of other ones. Fezzy loved that stuff. Why don't you work on it? Fezzy will send you some ideas. <laughs> Fez2000 at AOL.com. Don't give him my address. All right, talk to you later, Kerouac. All right, take it easy, guys. Peace too. out. It took him this long to find us. Uh, Phil, you're on running Fez. Yeah, um, let Mr. Wicklin know that according to my uh, XM dial, 144 is XM Sports Oh, that's Nation. right. They moved it. My mistake. You're exactly right. They moved it down because of 
well, they had to make a change at oh. the end of the year. So, uh oh. Like they say, Sam Cook said a change is going to come. <laughs> it's a good change, though. Oh, good. Uh, let's go to uh, to Larry. Larry, I'm running Fez. Yeah, Fez. You got the you got the Florida Gators who are the, who are defending basketball champions. You got the Gators who are playing for the BCS title. You got the Tampa Bay Lightning won the Stanley Cup a couple of seasons ago, and you got the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. And you hang your head on the Buccaneers face. You got a wealth of sports down there. You really do, Fuzzy. There's plenty of sports. Not to mention there's uh, NASCAR in Florida. There's uh, they do even a couple little surfing things now. High lie. Uh, great boxing out of uh, Tampa, uh, wrestling out of Tampa. Why are you just one sport, Johnny? Here he comes. There's only one <laughs> sport, and Johnny knows them all, football. It's the one that holds my interest. Football. That is the one. I've tried to follow other sports. I just don't get into it. How can you not get into baseball? I don't know. Maybe it's because football has so many fewer games. Maybe it's just easier to follow for me. Then you would like the Olympics. It's only every four years. <laughs> I enjoy that every now one, and again. One uh, race every four years. It would be your favorite sport. All right, we got to start and wrap this thing uh, up here today. Wiki's taking us out to uh, for dinner today. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. I can't it's wait. It's great to see you again. Too. I'm you sorry it's taken so long to get back up here and see you again. It has so. taken a while. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, TJ going to be there? I'd like to kick around a couple <laughs> ideas for Fez. Oh, I hope not. If he's sitting at that table when I walk in, I am walking <laughs> right back out. I thought you liked him. <laughs> he's nice, but it's uncomfortable. Well, you guys have both been Bucks fans for a long time, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, both Bucks. We can commiserate on that at least. Right. <laughs> Which must really feel great for the other 49 states. For the rest of the sports nation. They hear about a 4-12 and 12 team. That's Is weird. that what you ended up this year, 4-12? and 12? Yeah, 4-12. and 12. Wow, that's embarrassing. It's really, really bad. Too fitty. Terrible. I watched it for a little while. Well, that's it for us. Uh, we'll see you guys on the flip-flop. We'll be back tomorrow right after 09. Uh, that's the end of my show. Donk. Donk. Yeah.